Welcome back, all you crazy cool people. This is Gameage, and we are back in Rising World with a brand new update. This is 0.7.2.5, and uh, this is actually better animals, more content. Uh, this is not the dungeon one. The dungeon one is actually taking them a little longer than usual uh, to do it. They're having a plug-in API uh, issues uh, causing delays. So that's being pushed a little bit back. Nothing bad. I mean, that's not bad. I really that than having them launch a game. Um, and end up being like an EA where we have a whole bunch of issues and they don't bother, you know, fix them. So yeah, these guys are actually taking their time. It's all good. Nothing worth. No, this is this is pre-alpha. You know, we have to accept it. That's the way it goes. Uh, nevertheless, the update uh, here, as mentioned, is uh, been quite considerable preparations and dungeons. So this is actually introduces new features such as bugs. Uh, as, sorry, <laughs> new features and many bugs have been fixed, especially the annoying ones falling through the ground and bugs which is still encountering. Uh, so they still have a little bit of issues. They're still trying to work on that. Uh, main focus on the updates, improvements, animals' behavior. Uh, that is necessary for the upcoming dungeon update. The animals will still need uh, still need proper uh, water. Uh, sorry, work on proper water detection, better AI, uh, but especially when the collisions and detections should work better now. So that's good. So they won't be walking through walls, hopefully, as much, which will be kind of nice. Uh, apart from the animals, they now have uh, also get fall damage, so they die eventually. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it makes sense, right? The animal drops, boom, you gotta have some problems with it. So also the means you can actually make a fence and fence in some animals and create your own little farm. Uh, please keep in mind that, that uh, they also mentioned that uh, extensive changes have been made to animals implementations, and of course the changes in bugs and unforeseen issues. So just be patient. Uh, there'll be little things we'll see through here that they're still going to encounter. It's not a big deal. Apart from the changes, it introduces uh, new features. Uh, for example, now a chance that the animal attacks can cause bleeding. All right. So this also been cured by using the bandages, which is all is all, sorry also introduced in the update as well. Uh, there also been two new plants uh, in this update: a herb, uh, sorry, hemp plant and a cotton plant. You can now get hemp fibers and cotton fibers from plants, which can now be used for craft cloth, which you are needed uh, to craft bandages. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna need to go and find those and see what they look like. Uh, by the way, it says be careful of breaking bones, since it can cause impact on your mobility, impact on your mobility. Uh, you can also be cured by splint requires stick and bandages, but even though uh, it restores your mobility, it can sometimes until uh, till sorry so sometime until your broken bones is really cured. During that time, you should very be uh, be very cautious and even be careful of your sprinting and stuff. So that's something we have to deal with, and um, yeah, so we'll have to be careful. Uh, for extra stuff that's passed through here. So the indicators are going to show on the bottom uh, where our food is, where we're starving, on the bottom right. So we'll just have to make sure we have to watch ourselves uh, as we have a broken bone or something. We will do that without a doubt. Um, there's also been uh, several other additions to changes as full of, uh, sorry, a full overall of change logs, which is quite big added moon uh, to night sky. Uh, bleeding can now be occurred by bleeding or there's a whole slew I'll make sure there's a link on the bottom to the actual page so hopefully you guys can go through it uh, they also add new doors saloon doors 15 variations of it new objects various size wooden things I wonder if you can actually find this stuff new I had a new spawn detector for 20 seconds oh there is one thing I saw yeah here watch this what does it say in the bottom right right there we sand collected. Yeah, remember I said last episode, would it be nice if they actually put something we can actually see it? I'm sure not the only person been complaining about that. That is really cool. So now we know we're picking up, which means we should be able to pick up ores too, the same way. Let's let's see. Should tell me rock or ores. Ores is the one I'm really curious about the most. Oh, and I've also been hurt so. Uh, which is a fall damage. So let's go and see if that carrot helps. I know some people have here been mentioning that I should be eating better. Oh, it does help. Okay, look at that. So that's good. Eating good will protect you. This is a tunnel we made for our little area over here. I wonder if actually, could I sort this out? Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I know some people mentioned some ways of doing it there. I'll have to work on this. Ugh, I'm not gonna do it on now. It's, it's very frustrating. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time. That's why I do most of it off camera. I was gonna do a little bit with you guys. Uh, we'll go through that. Uh, here we'll just drink a little bit of water. 
Okay, well, um, hmm. Looks like you're screwed. Hope you enjoy the water. I just don't think the water is as good as I thought it would be now. You can't get out of there. Okay, so obviously water is not a little bit problems like they said to be detection. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, boiling pig. That's great. Pig in the water. Pig in the water. Let's see what this does. Yes, iron. We don't have to go and look to see what we picked up. We know what we're picking up. Beautiful job. It sounds really small, but it's big. Iron is cool. We're going to need that anyways. Now we're going to put that in the inside there. We're going to check to see what else they implemented. A whole bunch of new goodies. Now I just caught the update right now, so I'm reading off their website. Plus, I'm also reading off a very smaller screen. Um, I need a second screen <laughs> to start doing these update things. Sometimes it's a little bit harder for me to see. I'm starting to feel like I need glasses when I start writing that. But anyways, it's all good. Um, we actually could cut this down. I'm going to need some wood too anyway, so let's make that go that way. This is such a beautiful area, though. I don't want to take away too many trees because I really do love the trees over here. Uh, I think it looks gorgeous. Just like our, our little getaway with our friend, the pig, who's uh, now in the water. You know what I'm saying? He's sleeping with a fish. All right, let's pick this up. Oh, tell me you can get out, brother. Can I help you out? Because I'm starting to feel like I, I should help you out here. Here. You make me feel guilty. There you go. How about that? Uh, how about that? No, no, no. I was helping you out. Maybe he's enjoying it. Oh, so I'll make a small path and hopefully he'll find his way out. I'm not going to sit there and try and get him out. But I'm going to make a little path. Hopefully he'll get out of our water. He's friggin' gross, to tell you the truth. Here we go. You, you can get out, brother. Look, if I... See? Look. You just have to walk right through here. And then we'll make a little headway out here, okay? I can't believe I'm doing this for a freaking pig right now. Hopefully the AI, whatever, is the ability for him to find his way out of here, because... Oh, for God's sakes, this is... Now I'm going upwards. There we go. That should be good enough. If I can walk up there properly, they should be able to walk up there properly. Obviously, as you can see, also some people have asked that question. Water does not rush through uh, like that, so it's all good. Go, Mr. Pig. There we go. A little tap in the butt. Got him going. There we go. You safe? Hallelujah! And you're uh, you're out of here. All right, cool. We saved the pig today. Just don't know why the pigs are here. <laughs> don't have a clue. I guess maybe I dug the tunnel and they walked through. It's possible, I guess. Anything's possible. So that's pretty cool. They've added some really cool stuff here. Uh, added some stuff for us, which is a hey, more stuff to build with. What else can you ask for? That's some seawater back there. I don't get how that seeped through, but. It's all good. We're just going to back to our little base here and see what else they've built. Uh, same time, we'll start adding. Oh, look at that, another pig. What the hell? I hope he's not pissed off because I hit the other one in the ass. Uh, we're just going to put these ones in here. I've been trying to do some. I only did one extra shot of this before, while I was actually working on what I was doing over there, which we will go through too. Just the update came out just as I was coming back on. And I know uh, some of you were complaining that I didn't have any last week Raising World. Uh, more than one. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I really had a rough week last week, unfortunately. Um, anyways, personal issues and personal things. And also, uh, just, just a little bit tired. So, it is what it is. Everything's good. And uh, we're going to move forward on that. All right. Let's open this up here. Let's see what else they have. Uh, I think it would be probably in a, maybe probably in a block thing. No, blocks would just be blocks. We should say new tiles and stuff. I don't know if that's new. No, I don't think so. Miscellaneous. Poster, blueprint. Anything here? Grill, smoker, cooking grill. Weapons are still the same thing. Morning stars and stuff. 
And a loom. Which I think we'll need for cloth, right? Uh, ladder science scaffolding. How about doors? Where is that? Such a hard, that's one thing I do find a lot harder to find. I wish it would be, I guess, as you get through habit of doing this. There's legs, but there we go. You can actually make one of those for legs in case. If we're going to trip, we'll be able to make it there. Is it in here? Doors. Where do I see that? My whole cover saloon doors. All right. Oh my god, there is a different variations. Holy shit, that's pretty cool. I definitely like these ones. That is really awesome. What else are these here? New doors, fifty variations. New plants, hemp, cotton, we did that. Uh, item stack now, infinite in creative. Okay, so we don't play creative mode. Uh, new creative permissions. Was it infinite items, true or false? I have no idea how to do it, but okay, sure. Um, I don't understand the creative part of it. Maybe you guys can explain to me. I have no idea how that people even get into that. Uh, added a spawn protection, 20 seconds. Hostile animals will attack, uh, will not attack, can be adjusted improperly. So there's a whole bunch of things. The notes are really endless. Um, if there's anything really cool, we'll go through them, but uh, added information about smelting furnace to the journal. So there's a little bit of cool stuff and changes that they made. But again, we've had some extra little stuff, uh, the bandages and splints added. And also the hemp, uh, sorry, the hemp, leaves hemp fibers and cottons and stuff like that we've already dealt with so uh it's pretty cool i think it's a good update especially if they're actually doing progressive they're not just jumping they're adding as something they do need so anyways so be it let's get through this let's get going oh my god man what the hell not to be uh can you excuse me sir yeah there we go it's better with a rake than it is a pickaxe in the ass right yeah all right, so what I was doing is actually working on this. I was trying to dig this apart. Pretty much the whole night, I was just working on digging this apart. Pretty lengthy. Um, by this point, I can't figure out the sand part. I know you probably could add it, uh, but what I'm going to do is just cut through all this as much as possible. And I'm loving it also. And right now, I'm doing left click, and it's lowering it to the levels I'm at, at right now. So if I stood on a different level, I'm pretty sure it would lower it to that level there. Actually, I'll show you here. See, it's keeping it right to the level. So I also compress right click and it will lift it. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, go. Go. Jesus, man, you guys are in the way. Make some bacon and eggs with you guys once there's that grill going. All right, so we're just going to take apart as much of this as possible. Uh, and uh, again, because I'm, I'm going to be building an area here, I'm probably a building over here. We probably could take down these trees here too and replant them somewhere else. I wish an infinite stack, or at least a larger stack, if possible, for uh, our level. I mean, I think a 64 is a max. I mean, infinite stack for, I guess, a creative motion. I don't understand, but I mean, it's just like Minecraft. I guess it's infinite stuff. You can add your stuff and all that, but I don't understand a freaking bit of that. So, anyways, it, it seems interesting. But again, it also takes away from the game. I like to struggle a little bit. I can't have just things given to me. Or else I lose interest in the game very fast. And I don't want to play it anymore. So it's just the way I play. This means it's wrong. If anybody else is doing creative mode, it's all good. If you have great ideas and you're a great builder. I mean, sometimes you don't like to do the grind. Then that's where you play it. That's good. Nothing wrong with it. I just like to be able to go and get my stuff. You know, the mining. Getting the stuff done. It makes the whole game a little better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I hear it's always a little bit of a problem because I have a hard time lifting the actual um, the actual ground. So what I've always done is this. I just grab some dirt, which I can mine off the ground or pick up as we go through. And here. Oops. You can actually move this around here. You can actually lower it or plus and minus. Lower it, Ken was talking about. Uh, you can do quite a bit of little stuff with it and uh, Yeah, I mean it's pretty cool. You can actually move around as you as you go up and down The cool thing is actually adding it a little lower So if you want to bring your ground a little lower you just actually do a plus minus and it brings it right on the ground where you want it to be So that's really cool again, you just bring plus again, and now I have it back to where I want it and I'll add the dirt as it goes. So again, it does take out the dirt That actually would be a nice thing for them to add on to it that we'd see. Oh, actually no top right look at that Shows us how much we have left. Was that there before? 
Maybe they never realize. It's very possible. Anyways, by having this up here like this, I can actually now take the rake, like here, and then lower it very nicely. It seems like it's some issues when you start lowering it and there's areas that are just a little higher and lower, so this makes it a little easier for us to kind of control the ground that we're working on. Anyways, it's a trick that I use. Um, if you have any easier ones, don't be shy of you, as, you know, add them to the comp field. It's always appreciated. Uh, again, I know some people are saying some creative mode, go in there and you can flatten your land really quick. Again, it's just uh, not against it, like I was mentioning. It's all good. If you guys know how to do that stuff, that's great. I just can't do it. All right, so just takes away from me. That's all. Again, nothing wrong with you guys using it. It's all good. I'm not shitting on you guys for that. I just enjoy it uh, the harder way, I guess you could say. Then it does make me feel like I wasted my money on the game. All right. We're going to need some resources anyways. I think it's a pretty good sized land to start off with. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it. I think we can do quite a bit with here. Um, anyways, we can always grow it as I feel like the blocks are not big enough. We can actually just grow this. Maybe I'll just make sure this part is done. Again, we're just right click. I'm lifting up the land. There we go. So it's not completely straight up, but you can add it as you go backwards, I guess, boom. That's pretty much how I got the straight line last time. I just kind of did the edge, and once it reaches the point where it can't lift anymore, I just go right across it and it creates that nice line. Which is kind of cool. That adds a little bit to the base too. And also easier for construction if you're trying to line up some stuff. At least for me. Alright. I think that's pretty cool. I know probably here. I know probably here we probably need a little more. We'll do a left click on this one bring us down. Something a little addicting about bringing down the land and the stuff. It's just like mining. I wish you could do like a larger space or a bigger rake or maybe a tool or like a, I don't know, some kind of auger or something else that we can just dig up the land and place it. But again, it's a good start. And again, we are just starting too, so we wouldn't be able to afford it as we start this game. I should go and double check to see how the iron's doing. Let's go see. She's a melted, let's not waste any more. Let's turn off the furnace. Hello. Off you go. All right, let's pick this up. Hot stuff, hot stuff, hot stuff. There you go. Now, it doesn't take that long. It takes about a few minutes to, to do. So you got to keep your eyes on it. It'd be cool if actually you had a special timer that to, or turned off the actual first, but again, in real life, you wouldn't, uh, you'd be around it. Let's just drop whatever we picked up here. We have 22 left. Beautiful. I'm loving what I'm seeing. And then we, if we have enough iron, we'll be able to build our stuff that we want. Now, this is what we're getting as a product right here. And as you see, it stacks in 64. So you have a little bit of iron uh, that's split off here. So it's all good. What you can do is go to the anvil here. And we can create iron plates, uh, which is something that we do need in some other things. So we can actually do, let's like, see, uh, it takes... Let's do four. Four iron plates and uh, iron rods. The other thing, the other one, eh? That's the other one. So we'll do four of those. And these are all cool things that we need. Now, what we actually want to build is a canteen. This is actually something we're going to need anyways. So, again, it's just figure out where it is. Tools, no. Canteen, rolling hole, sledgehammer, no. Oh, also, blocks can be now removed. Let's, I got to test it out. I just remembered a block can be removed. That is horrible looking. Uh, sure, let's craft one block. And we're going to need a sledgehammer. So, tools. Sledgehammer, battle axe, rake, hoe, sword, blade, mooring star. Then mix it. Axe head. There it goes, sledgehammer. Open up this, do tools and sledge. Beautiful. Uh, we're just going to place this block right here for now. So let's say if we take this block and we place it here, which is way too low, 
And so it's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good analogy of finding out. You actually grab the sledgehammer here and go number four. I suppose you can remove it. She picks up, I think, right? Or did I have to pick it up with an F? Oops. I thought I saw a hand death gesture. I'm not sure if the last hit has to be picked up. Let's try that again. They did say it was working. So let's try that again here. All right. Um, let's say it was with a sledgehammer. Beautiful. There she is. Okay, so the other one was just too deep. So I can pick her back up. Okay, if I press F really quick, I can pick her up. No, I can't. She just goes deep into the, the actual ground here. So, I mean, that's just something we have to watch out for. So the deeper ones won't be able to pick up, but the regular ones will be with the sledgehammer. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, that's still melting. But we are going to make a canteen. That's what we're looking for. Uh, utilities, compass, canteen. There we go. So I need one iron plate. All right, we used it last time, so we're going to do... One iron plate, canteen, and bravo. Now we can go get our water and fill that baby up. We just gotta press F when we get it, so let's go and do that right away. Then we want the problem with the water all the time. It seems to be a big issue in this game, so we'll head out and get our water, and then that should be pretty cool for us to have now. I mean, I survived on a canteen pretty darn good. Oh, I hate this wobbly floor. I'm gonna fix you, I'm gonna fix you. Break off that pig's back in there. No, he's not. Cool. See, you fill your canteen. And to drink with it, just come out here, I guess. Take a big sip and you know, break green. Oops. Let's right click again. There we go. We're full. On top right, it tells you right away that green bar, so it tells you exactly how much room you have. Uh, there's a moose here. Okay. And I did realize finally the animals do sleep at night. So, I mean, if you want to hunt out, they lie down, sell them do at least, and we just have to take them out there. There you go. I love that one stone. So I'm gonna find some more carrots and stuff. But again, I've pretty much kept a certain area. I have not ventured up too far because there was lots to do. Uh, but we are, our health definitely needs to be brought back up. All right. That's a lot done, eh? It's pretty impressive. Okay, we also have the compass. The compass will be iron plates and copper rod. I think I have copper, right? We, we did melt some copper. We did smelt it down some copper, do we? Positive, we did. Positive. Two. There we go. Copper. Sorry, copper plate or copper compass is copper rod and iron plate. So iron plate and the copper rod. Copper rod. I need plates. Beautiful. There we go. Then we got our compass. A compass is really cool. Um, it's really cool to use because when you start thinking about it. It's everything you want to do with this damn thing. Uh, again, it's it's finding out you know where your base is. So you see a little red marker on the top right? It's telling me exactly where that tent is right now. So once I change into a bed or if I change into something else, oops, if I change it to something else, then it'll actually put the marker so it's, I can always find my way home. This is a must. So you just press K on your keyboard and it pops up right away. Really cool, very nice add-on. Okay, so we're, I think that's pretty much of this uh, update here. We've done through, we've done our, our work. I'm probably going to work on this a little more, try and get this a little more low. I'm pressing L right now if you're wondering what this is. It's actually a light until uh, we get a little further in because for videos, it's really arduous to have it all darked out and I don't want it to look shitty for you guys. So we're, we are going to start building. Uh, there is some resource hunt to be done and then we're going to start building up this base as fast as we possibly can. 
there's still, you know, I don't want you guys to go through a whole bunch of work of watching me take this down. But again, if you guys like this stuff, don't forget to hit the like button. Again, we'll uh, come back and try and start at least the base, a base of this base. How about that? I'd like to get at least the foundation down and start, you know, building her up. She's actually going to be a real kind of base base, a house. That is the plan. The plan is to bring this into a, a new... Uh, a new style, a house style, and then the work area could come in afterwards on a different sector. So we'll, we'll worry about that afterwards. The work area, we'll keep it where it's at. But I do want to build a nice base on this land here. It seems so cool. I just love living this land. All right, we'll leave you here. Again, if you like this, don't forget the like button. And again, all your shares. And it's always appreciated. And you guys are absolutely awesome. This is the Edge for Game Edge. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.